everybody and welcome to Jack and Cat Adventures. I'm Cat. I'm Jack. And he's going to be my helper today. We're going to show you a really easy, easy Easter basket idea for your kids. Pretty much everything I got here I got at the dollar store. Your main concern is to make sure when you get, you're going to get four boxes of candy that they're all the same size because if one's bigger than the other it won't sit right for the basket. So you get four boxes of whatever candy your kids like. You're going to get a piece of cardboard and cut it a little bit smaller than the square of your boxes. And this is going to be your bottom. So Jack's going to help me. First off, I'm going to start out by cutting some tape for the bottom. So. And this is called a Crafter Square Pop Dot Tape. And I got that at the dollar store. Any two-sided tape will work. And really this doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to be really cute when we're done. Um, Hot glue will also work. Exactly. Just be careful because it, it will melt some of the wrappers on your candies. And um, sometimes it'll go through the box to get the box gets a little damp from the uh, wax so just be careful all right so now that Jack's done with his taping for the bottom he just did a square around it now he's going to lift the sticky part of the the top tape off I'm going to Put some tape on the side boxes too while I'm at it. Get all my cutting out of the way. Another big thing is when you're putting the boxes together, make sure your candy's not upside down. Yeah. Maybe it's just me. Or if you have someone that's OCD in your house, do it upside down. So until Easter, it's driving them nuts. Who would do such a thing? Who would do such a thing? I made a bunch of these over the years. And if you want them bigger, you can do them bigger. All you have to do is buy two of the same size for each of your sides so instead of four you would have eight boxes and you probably would need um, a, a bigger handle but we'll get into that in a minute all right once you get all your tape on you can start assembling you want to get it close to the edge as possible make sure you peel your uh, tape first make your life a lot easier tell an Easter story while you're doing this oh. so <laughs> years ago I have an older brother and an older sister and um, my mom did everything homemade for every holiday I mean cakes food breads whatever we needed it was homemade and she also was the seamstress she sewed all of our clothes for holidays so she had made my sister and I matching um, dresses with matching bonnets and she worked tirelessly on this because she was kind of scrunched for time because other things were going on you know life was getting going on her and stuff and so she finally got them done the day before Easter she hung them on a hanger and she put the hat on the roundness of the hanger and she hung it on the, the door going down to our basement well, the door was between our living room and our kitchen. So my dad was hanging wallpaper and he comes flying into the kitchen and he had sliced his hand from his hand all the way up his arm wide open. So of course my mom's freaking out and everything. He's bleeding everywhere. And um, 
they take him to the hospital, he gets all stitched up, he comes home that night, and my mom goes to put us in our dresses the next day, and they were covered in blood from my dad bleeding everywhere. So let me tell you, you know, looking back now and, and so how hard she worked, I can understand why she cried, because it really, it really was hard. But, you know, memories like that just come back to you, and, and my, the main memories that I have with my mom is she was always in the kitchen, she always cared about other people. She made everything homemade. And so I kind of want to get back to those old time homemade recipes. And we're going to get into that a little more as we go along into our adventures. So now, Jack, what do we do next? Here we are. This is what our box looks like. Pretty sturdy. You want it kind of sturdy, you know, you're going to load it up with all kinds of candy and stuff. So next step. Okay, so then um, I also found this. It's a block of foam. And I cut it lengthwise, and then I just measured it to the size of my box. And you're going to lay that in there. Now, this part is not necessary. I'm going to put, like, suckers and things like that in mine, and I'll show you some other few tricks. If you don't want, like, things standing up, and you're just going to do, like, lay down candy, just put your um, grass in there. And just go ahead and fill it at this point but we're not we're gonna um, actually put things in so we're gonna put our grass in now that looks great we can oh, always add more later <laughs> you can add more later no, no. all right only do it now so now what we're going to do is we're going to put the handle on and you're going to see we went on a big candy adventure you guys are going to come along with us that's up in a couple of, of weeks right before easter we're going to show you that so we went to this big candy store and they normally have like long ropes of licorice that are individually wrapped they're really long they said they can't get them and also they used to have a nerds long Rope. rope and it bent in half they still can't get those so we found this and this is called giant belt rips now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put this in half like this because what you would do is if you could find the the ropes the other ropes um, you would need two of them because you want this sturdy enough for the kids to lift up on it I need my rope You got any good Easter stories? Oh no, uh-uh. <laughs> nope. Nothing about no suits, no ties, you know. Yeah. All the kids at grandma's being harassed by uncles and aunts and you know, no, nothing at all. I remember um, Jack's mom every year um, would throw an Easter egg hunt for all the grandkids. And um, cousins, it started and with cousins, and, and then it went to nieces and nephews, and then it went to um, grandkids. And, and we, neighbor kids. Yeah, and, and we filled tons and tons of eggs. And I swear, every year it rained, it was muddy, and we did it in like over what, two acres or something? Five acres. Five acres. So the kids, you know, ran, and then there was special like little things in the eggs that if you got this special token you got money or what or a toy or whatever but everybody got everything it was always fair um but she did that for years and years and then they always had huge dinners at his mom's house too yep yeah, mom's so now what jack did was he's taping um the piece together so it's really sturdy um I found with the ropes, the other ropes, they were fine. I just did them in half, or sometimes I intertwined them and put them on. However you think it's going to be the sturdiest for your basket. And I, right here, I just folded up the, the rest of the uh, plastic so it's out of the way. Just to make it neat looking. And, right. and you know, I Hold think, on one second. I'll be too, right if um, you want to... Um, have the kids come and help, you know, like, 
maybe they can make something for a kid that doesn't get much in school or your neighbor that doesn't have a family you know go ahead and make things for them and like I said get the kids in on stuff like this for each other like one brother could do it for the other or whatever it could be a secret you know whatever I just think that getting kids in the kitchen and helping is fabulous and then when they get older they're not afraid to get in the kitchen and even if they screw something up they'll fix it they'll remake it nothing is wrong with trying things over nobody's perfect things happen in the kitchens and if they just, screw it up real bad there's always uh, delivery right exactly there's always McDonald's um, so yeah just get your kids involved in anything you can even making Easter cookies, cut out cookies, get them in there, you know, rolling the dough, cutting out the cookies, show them how to bake them in the oven, what to look for, and then helping make the frosting and decorating them all. Who cares if your sprinkles get all over your floor? Believe me, I had them ever. I think I had sprinkles from Christmas all the way to the next Christmas because they had just, I just found them everywhere. All right, now there's the handle. So what we're going to do now is we took these eggs and we opened them and the the uh, round part goes down and what we did was we put a, a pipe cleaner through the two holes inside the bottom and I just twisted them and twisted them twisted them till they're really stiff what you're gonna do is you're gonna put stuff in here I'm actually going to put in some chocolate but um, I also want to um, maybe put a little bit of money in here. I think this one's going to go to my son. He's older. He's going to be 27. So I kind of just do, you know, fun mom things and then I'll put in extra things for him. So I also got this. This is um, a Fruit Loops Peeps Sucker. And I got this at the dollar store. It's cute, yeah? That looks cute. Yeah, a little wimpy and, uh, you know, droopy, but hey, you know. Let's put that in the front here. Right. And then I got him, he used to love Buzz Lightyear, it's a joke in our house. So I found a Buzz Lightyear Pez machine for him, just because I know it'll get to him. And cherry gum. gum. And blackjack gum some gummies and I, I the things that I'm telling you now I got it at different stores I got them either at Mally's or at um, the surprise that we're going to show you I'm prop this up a little bit. and just get whatever candies they like We're also lucky here in Madison, Ohio, right around the corner, we have a place called um, the Red Berry Candy Shop. And she has every kind of candy in there and all the old ones that bring back, you know, memories. Um, she has all that stuff in there and um, they have homemade uh, chocolates. Uh, they make baskets. So it, we're really lucky to have that if we need candy, but I usually like to go around to different places and get the candy. All right, so this is done. Almost. I'm still stuffing. You know, if you're going to make a candy basket, fill it. And tea berry gum. Blackjack in there already? Yep. All right. Uh, I'll give him two more chocolates. I'm eating the rest. All right, so let's turn around. Here's our finished product. I'm going to come over and zoom in on it. Get my tape and rubber band out of the way. Oh, and one more thing I wanted to tell you guys, and this is totally up to you. If you have like a, um, a wrapped piece of candy like this, if you take the back and just open it up a little bit where it comes together, if you hot glue that and you put hot glue it to the, sti the stick, you can make suckers out of that too if you would like. Watch, you can even do it with my He'll handy with dandy tape. tape, you know. 
I'll hire him out if you want him to come make yours. No, uh-uh. You can't afford me. I'll eat you out of house and home. And I do like the idea of this because um, really it's a smaller basket, so a lot less candy on the inside. Because, you know, when you start getting those Easter baskets for kids, by the time you put the grass in, it, they're so big that you really need a lot of candy to fill it. And I found, you know, the kids can't eat that much candy. By the, by the time they're, like, done with it, it's old and, you know, time to throw it away. So the, this is a really good idea. It's very cheap if you have, like, a class. I never had a problem eating all the candy. No. All right. Um, but if you have a classroom, you know, where you want to do cute things, maybe the classroom, the teacher can maybe help make these. You know, whatever. I, I just, just let your mind go. I didn't pay attention. I put it, put the stick on wrong. Had it upside down. Someone would have gone uh, nuts. Would have drove her up a wall. I like See? it in this corner. This corner? Yep. And this is a, just a chocolate covered Oreo. And that's all you do. This is just a skewer for... Uh, Shish kebab. Shish kebabs. Right down in the foam. And there we go. Alright, there we go. Let me know if you try this. Please like, comment, share, subscribe, and remember, you, you do, do you. you.